How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about document fragments in the JavaScript document object model. So a document fragment is basically just like a virtual invisible HTML element. Now as a breakdown they look like this. We've got a document fragment right here which contains two children elements, an h1 tag and a span tag. Now you can make these things and even retrieve them from other HTML elements. So today we're going to make one of these document fragments and then append children to that fragment and then append that entire fragment to a parent element and see what happens. So let's get right into it. Inside the body tag, I'm going to make a new list element. We'll come down here, we'll say ul, make an unordered list and give it an ID of my lists. Now we're going to use a document fragment to make a bunch of list items and then append those list items to the list itself upside, sorry, up here. Alright, so down here we can make a new constant referring to this unordered list element. So we'll say const my list equals document dot get element by ID and get the element with an ID of my list, that one right there. So now with this, we're going to make a new document, frag, uh, document fragment object. So we'll make it a constant. We'll say const doc frag equals, now you use the document dot creates document fragment method to create a new empty document fragment. So now we're going to make two list item elements. Down here we can uh, define two new uh, variables. One called item1 equal to document dot creates elements and we're going to make a list item element just like that. We'll do the same thing once more. Call this one item2. Okay now we'll also just add some text to uh, both of these elements. So we'll say item one dot text content. Let's give it content of apples for example. And for item two, we can make that one bananas. Classic. All right. So now we have two list item elements. We're gonna append these two elements to the document fragment. It's quite easy. We'll just say doc frag dot append child with a capital C, append child, pass in item 1 and do the same thing for item 2. So now we have this structure going on but instead of h1 we have list items. We have apples and we have bananas. Just like that. Doc frag and then two list items inside there like that. So now we're just going to log out in the console the document fragment object. So we'll log that out right there. We can save this, go in the browser, refresh, and see how we go. So here we get a document, fra uh, document fragment object. If we open it up, we see the two list items just like that. Perfect. So now we're just going to want to append this document fragment to this list element. So we'll get rid of this and we'll say my list dot append child and pass in the document fragment. Usually you'd pass in you know item one or any element. This time we're passing in a document frag uh, a document fragment object to the append child method. So if we save this, refresh the browser, we should see content in the actual document. Refresh and we'll see apples and bananas. Perfect. Now, one thing to note is that you're not actually making a copy of these elements when you append a document fragment. What this means is now, once you've called this method, once you've appended a document fragment to a element, these items that were once inside the document fragment have now been moved. So now, if under, under this line, 
if we now log out the document fragment once again, we should see now that the fragment is empty. We can save this, refresh, and we see we can no longer, you know, expand this, this object. So they've been moved to the actual unordered list element itself. And that's how you can use document fragments in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.